Do you want to make some authentic Indian kidri with us? Let's go. So today with us you're making some authentic Indian kidri. High in protein, with vegetables, nutritious and lots of fibre. Ingredients, one butternut squash, packet of padron peppers, a garlic, a ginger, an onion, packet of baby spinach, coriander, half a pint of red lentils, quarter pint of white rice and some packet of cherry tomatoes. Put the lentils and the rice together in a pot. Make sure that you mix them well. Wash it until the water runs dry. Look at all that starch. There's so much starch, so make sure you're washing it properly. In the meantime, put the kettle on and put it on to boil. Then you can keep washing. The water runs dry and you're ready to go. Two pints of water and then you're going to put that boiling water in with your lentils and your rice, pop it on to boil and then you do need a tablespoon of salt and a tablespoon of turmeric. Whilst that's boiling we're going to the chop, here we go. So we're looking to let this boil for about 45 minutes and in the meantime we will be chopping all these vegetables up. So chopping your veg, you can keep them fine, you can chop them big, it's completely up to you. Using some oil, we've used rapeseed oil, pop it into a pan, then you're going to throw in your garlic, you're going to throw in your onions and your butternut squash. Let that fry and then you're going to saute that for about 15 minutes until the butternut squash goes soft. Lovely. We added a little water to saute, now we're adding the cherry tomatoes and the padron peppers. You can, if you like, use chilies, green chilies. I don't like spice, so we're using pepper. Look how colourful this is. Now we're adding the rice and lentils to your sautéed vegetables, and then you're going to easily mix it together. It smells delicious. Then you add your baby spinach, we're adding the whole bag, and this is the fun part, trying to get it mixed. Have fun with this, it might take a while. Didn't take long at all, so we add some crushed chilies, and then, mmm, a little bit of garam masala. Use your hands or not, it's completely up to you. Give yourself a taste test, you might want to add some salt, we didn't, so we never. But we did add a little bit of reduced fat coconut milk to give it some cream. Lovely. And once you're ready to get that gas off and you're going to throw, literally throw, that coriander in. And dish it up for your authentic Indian kidri. Thanks for watching everyone, hope you enjoyed that, I hope you enjoy your food. Make sure you like, subscribe for more videos.